Welcome to Electron Online and now we're going to talk about acid-base titration, just the basics of what that really means. And so what we have, for example, is a flask here. We have some acid in it. Of course, when it's an acid, it has an excess of hydrogen ions. In actuality, it has an excess of hydronium ions, but for simplicity, we'll just write it as hydrogen ions. And so that's then called the analyte because we're trying to analyze the acid. What we're trying to do is figure out what the original pH was of the acid. Perhaps we, we have a large vat of acid and we take a small amount of that and we're going to titrate it. What that means is we're going to add a small amount of base to the acid, a known base with a known pH. And as we're doing that, we're introducing hyd hydroxide ions into the acid and they will then cancel out the excess hydrogen ions and we continue doing that until the concentration of the hydrogen ions and the hydroxide ions are equal. At that point, the pH will be 7, and the concentration of those will be 1 times 10 to the minus 7 moles per liter. At that point, the acid has been neutralized. And so what we do is we add a known quantity of the base. We add it in small volumes, maybe just one drop at a time. And by doing that, we slowly will, will um, uh, raise the pH until the pH is reached 7. Here we have a big total of that. Let's say we start with the acid. And let's say that it starts out at a pH of 2. So we keep adding small drops of the base, that's called the titrate, and initially you will not see much of a change because the concentration of the, the excess concentration of the hydrogen ion is so overwhelming that adding a few drops of base will not make a lot of difference, but eventually as you continue doing that, all of a sudden the concentration of the hydrogen ion will get smaller and smaller and smaller, and eventually the, the pH will change very quickly, and sometimes it just takes one additional drop to get it right to the equilibrium point or the neutralization point where the concentration of the two ions will be the same. At that point, you've titrated it down to the neutralization point, and you can then go back and work on your numbers and figure out what the original pH was. If you continue to add more base to the acid, then of course the solution becomes more basic. There'll be more hydroxide ions instead of hydrogen ions, and then you can see that the eventual pH will then settle down to what the concentration of the base was that you were adding. You can do the same with a base. You start out with a base solution. The base will have an excess of uh, hydroxide ions in it. And as you add the acid, you introduce hydrogen ions, which will combine with the hydroxide to neutralize and turn that into water. And eventually, as you continue adding enough acid, you will neutralize the base where the concentration again will be the same with the hydroxide ions and the hydrogen ions down to a concentration of 1 times 10 to the minus 7 moles per liter. So you can, can titrate an acid with a base, and you can titrate a base with an acid. And again, the purpose of doing that is simply to find out what the original pH was of the acid or the base that you were trying to analyze. Therefore, they're called the analyte, and what you're adding is called the titrate, regardless of which system you do. And you can see the pictorial here. A base will start out at a pH, let's say, 11, and you keep adding small drops of acid to it, and eventually, the concentration will get down to the equilibrium point. At that point, we've finished the job, we've titrated the, uh, the base, and then we can find out what the original pH was of the base. If you continue to add more acid to it, then it will continue like this, and eventually the concentration of the whole solution will zero in on what the concentration of the acid was if you just keep adding enough of the acid to the base. Again, the numbers themselves don't mean anything, they're just for basic reference points but that's just how that process works. So now you know what titration is and why we do it.